Hello, welcome to this video. So this video, we're actually uh, doing this uh, before we head off, right? We're like, uh, the server has shut down. It started up again. That uh, Halloween event is over, or at least the uh, first one. I think there's another one later, right? Where the uh, loot is shaped like uh, pumpkins. But today's the day seven, so we get a frigate skin, right? It's not sure what uh, this frigate skin's gonna be. We get a destroyer skin in the near future too. But uh, whatever this is, we should check to see what the other ones are. So what these guys are doing, right? We just have to uh, maybe log on, check industry, that's it. Maybe do a scaling spree for them, if there is one. So that's it, just those uh, two things, right? Check industry, do the scaling spree, that's it. We don't have to worry about project discovery. They're not getting any experience or anything. Maybe on our main account, if we have uh, nothing to do, if we're flying between places. All right. So we got in, so we're just going to check our industry quick, right? We just uh, log on to our character, check our size jobs, see if there's any to deliver. I don't think there is going to be any to deliver, right? They won't be done until uh, maybe tomorrow at least. But there's like a skill expiry, right? We just uh, go kill one NPC, get 2,500 skill points. So I wonder if there's going to be like a easy level one security mission to do, right? 55,000 points, find the repair station and do it. Or does this guy say it, right? We could even, like, uh, go to the belts or something, fly around, find one NPC, investigate the distress call, eliminate all hostiles. So not sure how long this is going to take, right? Set that station one destination away. Do we just do it? I guess we just log on, do what mission, go here, accept this one, fair play. As long as it's a uh, dot against a faction we don't want to fight, right? So we just have to check our ship fitting here. Looks like the uh, industry isn't done yet, right? So we just throw things in here, throw that, undock, complete one mission, industry. So this guy still has like uh, three days on his research, so we don't have to worry about that for a bit. So I guess we just uh, log on to our alts, complete one security mission, uh, if there's a scaling spree. It's just a subway to get that. We like uh, go here, there's uh, Grista's hideaway or Grista's burrow. It's just that we didn't do a uh, research on that yet. We don't know uh, which ones are the safe ones to go to, right? We don't want to uh, send, send our uh, alt or destroyer somewhere else where it's not going to be safe. Like the uh, asteroid belts, maybe there would be pirates there. But usually when we check, uh, there's usually not too many pirates there. So maybe we'll come back when we uh, complete the mission or <coughs> get back to it or something. That's all we're doing on this character. So looks like it's just this one guy, right? One guy, one lone pirate. Since we fell for it, he's going to uh, come and uh, kill us, right? 27 kilometers. So we can shoot him. He's within range. So it's just on our alt, right? We just kill him. That's the quest. Set destination back home. Go dock up. We got our uh, scaling spree. And then we can just log on to our other character and check what his is, right? So we can start uh, trading industry if we want. Or we can save the points. Industry is uh, almost trade, right? Industry is almost done in 11 minutes, that's it. And then we're just working towards like a laboratory operation, and then just more uh, science skills. I think we just uh, threw these on just to uh, check something, right? So we can uh, take all these off and everything. So we just go through our alts, reorganize everything, get everything figured out. That was it. Log in, do the one quest, <laughs> get everyone updated, and then just uh, go back to the main account, to the main character. So there you go, we got that done, right? We fixed our tree a bit, just got Industry 3, Advanced Industry, just to get better research speed. Laboratory Operation 5, then uh, research. We also get a scientific networking somewhere there, right? We complete this, then it's just uh, give us a bit of a static for this character, which uh, eventually, hopefully, does something for him, right? I don't think it'll add her too much. So we did that, Industry's done, did the skilling spree. That's literally all we have to do for the all characters now, right? Just do that, do that for him, do it for him. Let's just see what uh, his skill experience reward is, right? Sometimes you can get like uh, 5,000 or 10,000 points, it's all random. We just got 2,500 points, so we just have to uh, do the same thing, right? Industry. Doesn't even take long at all. <coughs> this video is only just like uh, 4 minutes, too. Like we did a uh, record, do the actual mission, but it was so quick. So those will be done tomorrow, right? And then, uh, as long as we, uh, do this tonight before we log off, when we come on tomorrow, so it's like, uh, the same mission almost, right? 
Father of Lords destroy him complete that. All right. So it's not saying we're going against any of the factions, right? That's uh, the only thing we're looking for. Just make sure we don't do any missions against any of the main four factions. So we'll complete this mission. Get the one uh, scaling spree. Go on the main character. Th there we go. So this mission was the uh, same thing, right? The uh, second part of the uh, mission we just did on the other character. So you know when uh, he comes here, he just has to destroy one ship. That's it. Complete this one. Complete that. Get the 2,500 skill points. Apply these metallurgy trades. Industry 2 trades. And he's working towards uh, Industry 3 like the other character, right? Industry, I think we checked it, right? That would be done in the morning. Oh, what happened? I think we just clicked it. I don't think it did anything. So that's it. Now we just uh, go to the main character. <coughs> just the main character, that's it. So he's going to trade stuff overnight, right? We might uh, head off pretty soon, but what we wanted to do was get that done. So we log on. We don't have to do that. That took like uh, <coughs> less than 20 minutes, probably. This person just gets the same thing. So what we wanted to do was uh, fit out our ship a bit better. We wanted to see if we get some uh, bigger guns on the ship to increase our firing range. So we could shoot enemies from 34 kilometers away, right? 34 kilometers away. What was the uh, DPS? 34 kilometers away, 184 DPS. 34 kilometers away with 184 DPS. So if we can find some way to get bigger guns on this ship, we'd be able to do more damage and take them out quicker. So we'd have to uh, sacrifice some of these things, but I'm not sure if these things actually help us uh, do more damage. Maybe against the uh, frigates they help us. This thing just helps us lock on faster, that's it. 250mm railgun. So you have to have it uh, stable like this somehow, right? Take this off, power grid. So we need to uh, put something on the bottom. We need engineering upgrades too. Engineering upgrades too, right? Engineering. We don't even have it. It's going to be uh, one hour until it's trained. So you have to get this thing, this will give us the reactor control unit, power diagnostic control system, and this would allow us to get some more uh, power on our ship. So until we actually trade that, we can't do it. So what we're going to do, is we're just going to buy these for now, right? We just need uh, five of them. We just need five of them. Sort by price to make sure we get the cheapest. He's going to sell two right here. So we just we need to buy another three of them. And then we can just fit it on the ship, right? We get rid of these things. Um, uh, I'm sure we should have uh, clicked the uh, do not tell us that again. That's all right. So we go here. We had the 200 millimeter guns before, right? Now we have the uh, 250 millimeter guns. So these things uh, should have like 10 kilometers better range and they should do more damage. We just can't uh, wear all of them at the moment like this. They also uh, carry less ammo, right? Maybe they're more efficient in ammo. We can even uh, restock on ammo, right? We're almost out of ammo. We're actually almost out of ammo with the ship. We left with like uh, 4,000. We just got like uh, 1,500 left. That's it. So you have that thing. I wonder if we should get a medium drones or not. We have to figure out some way to get that. Even if we uh, disable these, right? So what takes up so much power? It barely takes up any power, right? None of these really take up power, right? Maybe this 800mm uh, steel plate. And this uh, medium armor repair. That's about it. So if we get this scale, we're going to be uh, removing something from the bottom. We can go to our uh, scaling spree to uh, trade it instantly, right? Or if we like, uh, disable one gun. Is there something that's supposed to go to the uh, top slot for the drones? Drone upgrades, top, drone the augmenter. This just increases their control rates, that's it, that's right. 
That's right. So what if we remove this thing? Put this drill link augmenter. I'm pretty sure that we need a... Uh, <clears throat> pretty sure we should have all weapons up there. This just increased their control range to a 70 kilometers, which would be good. Which would be good. Which would be good, but we want to use this. So we'll have to wait till tomorrow. We'll have to wait till tomorrow. <clears throat> so I wonder if we uh, end this, right? We got all this done. All we do, wake up. Our skill is trained. Wake up, then our skill is trained. Then we can do some level 3 missions. So that was it. We were just doing this. Come on, the agency. <clears throat> we'll figure it out. So tomorrow, our goal then, right? Tomorrow, we wake up. 251 Caldari State, 33 Caldari State. We're just going to try running level uh, 3 missions for a bit. Just get statics up for Caldari State to get uh, this thing up there. And it just gives us some, uh, something to do as our skills trade. And uh, we actually get uh, pretty decent money from uh, blowing up the ships. We just have to uh, wait till tomorrow to trade the skill. That's it. Yeah, we don't really have anything here. Alright. So I have to uh, add this to the other part or something. Or maybe it's just this uh, old thing by itself. Maybe this is just the uh, this is just this video. Is this one? I don't know if we want to uh, clip a bunch of videos together. All right, we're back. So maybe we uh, sh maybe we uh, will clip something together tomorrow, right? We we'll clip the first part and add the second part to it, and then just make it like one video. So this uh, energy upgrades it might not actually uh, help us as much as we think. So we're gonna have to actually uh, remove one of these bottom slots for that skill to help us. Something we could do is maybe uh, replace this thing, right? That thing just makes our cap last a bit longer. If we destroy this thing, we get a CPU add power grid. CPU add power grid. We can't get uh, both of them. We can't get both of them. CPU add power grid. We can just get one of them. CPU or power. So we, what is this one? What if we disable this? We just have negative one CPU, that's it. Tracking for the drones. Tracking for us. So maybe we'll uh, get rid of the script in there or something. Get rid of this thing. And then we just need more power. That's it. So we have over here, right? We need the power circuit. So that's this one. Medium auxiliary power circuit. So it actually costs like 3.4 million for this thing. But it would allow us to equip the bigger guns. 3 million. <coughs> get this thing. Exit simulation. Your actual uh, continue simulator, right? So let's destroy this thing. Put this thing on. This will put a power grid up. And we just had to do that. Alright. So let's destroy this rig. Throw this up here. We get more power grid for our ship. We can put this weapon on. And then we just have to uh, get rid of these things, right? Yep. So we just have to get rid of these things. And then uh, see if we can find something else to replace it with. See if there's anything better to put there. Or we can just, uh, <coughs> would the sensor booster do anything? We're not sure. Do you have the tracking computer? We could put uh, two tracking computers, maybe? Maybe two tracking computers would work. Do they take up a lot? 3366. We'd just barely, we would be able to fit it, right? I think we have one. Mid slot, right? Mid slot, tracking computer. Yeah, we had an extra one. Do we have an extra script? No, we don't. Sets up I support script rate tracking rate script view market details. I think we want the other one. So one of them uses the raid script. One of them uses the uh, tracking speed script. Then we can record both of them, and they both give uh, give a bonus to something else, so they don't get any uh, stacking penalties, right? They're both. Uh, <coughs> we have two of them, but they're all, this one's just giving a bonus to tracking speed, and this one's just going to be giving a bonus to optimal range, right? So what's our uh, optimal range bonus? Did we not buy it? Tracking speed. Optimal range script. In the station. We bought it already. I guess we did it. So there we go. So this would increase our range from uh, 44 kilometers up to 50 kilometers. All right, that's what we came here to do. We came here to increase our range, right? Before it was uh, 34, I think, 34 kilometers. Now it's up to uh, 50 kilometers. Plus the uh, same thing, we just uh, 
We just uh, lock on to enemy slower, that's it. And then our uh, drones have a little bit less tracking speed. Because there's anything, anything to put here, right? Because we know there's the uh, hall repairs, but we never put those on or something. That takes a lot of CPU. That takes a lot of CPU. This is just a uh, cap boosters that might help our cap recharge. But don't say I take up a lot. Negative 31, so we could have fit that, right? We could have fit that thing. Cap recharger. We could have fit that thing. Because it comes to a point where you can't uh, fit anything, right? We don't have enough CPU for that. We don't have enough CPU for that. Trits. There's literally nothing that could fit here unless we could find something that uh, doesn't have any uh, requirements to fit it, right? Yes, yeah, so this thing even takes up a whole bunch. We just don't have room for anything. CPU. If we had just a little bit more CPU. Because it's just uh, buy another one of these track computers. 32, we're not going to have enough room, right? There's nothing we can put on the mid slot. Passive targeting system, baby. That doesn't even fit. Electronic warfare, stasis web flare. Oh, maybe a maybe a target painter fits, right? Maybe for a target painter, that doesn't fit. Target painter doesn't even fit. We don't want to lose that. We don't want to lose that. We don't want to lose that. We don't want to lose that either, right? Why is there nothing that doesn't have any uh, no requirements? Well, maybe we'll pause the video. We'll find something. See if we find something to put here. There's just uh, nothing that takes uh, no space. So I guess we'll leave it like this then, right? So we took uh, mid slots. Because it's between choosing a 25% drone movement speed. Or between choosing the uh, target painter. Which gives them 25% signature radius. Which allows them to do more damage. Allows us to do more damage. Especially to smaller ships. So, 25% drone movement speed, or 25% signature radius, plus this thing, right? Because we can't fit all three of them, right? We can't fit, uh, we can't fit them. If we put this here, as soon as we put this drone navigation, we can't, uh, fit anything else. As soon as we put this thing here, we can't fit anything else. So, it's between 25% drone movement speed, having, uh, one module on, or having the, uh, <coughs> tracking computer, or the sensor booster, and the, uh, target painter, right? Where did the target painter go? Here it is. Here's target painter. So here we go. Everything just barely fits, right? CPU is exactly zero. So you just sit here, try to fit out your ship. Eventually you'll find something that's like uh, exactly zero. So 60 kilometer target range. So attack, <coughs> attack range is like 50 kilometers, right? Yeah, 50 kilometer attack range. 75 kilometer lock range. That gives a whole bunch of different things. That works. So we did what we came to do. We got it from what? 34? 34 kilometers up to 50 kilometers. So we'll end this video, this clip. We'll come on uh, tomorrow or something. I think our damage, it barely increased, right? It was like 182 before. So it increased by 7. So it doesn't increase too much. So there's our new ship. We attack things from farther away. That was the main thing. I think we also were looking at our drones, right? Medium drones. Maybe we actually need a uh, medium drones for these things. So I don't think we ever got this one, right? Medium drone operation. 125k. Someone's selling for like 127k. So we can buy it from him. We can buy this. And we can maybe uh, start trading it to medium drones. So if there's uh, bigger ships out there, maybe these things would do more damage to them. It's got energy upgrades, gunnery. We shouldn't uh, be dragging things up on the top there, right? These things uh, should be dragged down to the bottom. Right after hybrid turret. Then uh, that should be trading overnight. Let's we'll just trade this overnight. We got medium drone operation, right? This would allow us to use medium drones. And then we're actually going to have to get up to like level 5 to use like a uh, tech 2 medium drones. We're gonna have to check that. <coughs>
We just got a Tech 2 level 1 droids, right? Required for level 5, required for Hammerhead. Carvets 10 days, so all we need is a medium drone operation 5 then. We already have a drones 5. We already have that one. Let's take 10 days to trade this. 10 days to trade into them. So there we go. <coughs> Ship's ready for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we get the uh, drones tomorrow, right? We'll just drag it up to the top, right? We'll get a uh, medium drones, we'll get those tomorrow. But then we have to get these out of the way. It's so hard to uh, do these things, right? We'll just get medium drones, energy upgrades, just so we have some uh, benefits tomorrow. So that'd be a little bit of trading, right? Like less than two hours of trading. The rest of it goes towards this skill. All right. Now we get that off. Then tomorrow, tomorrow we'll just check this thing, right? Tomorrow we uh, probably should be able to get it too close, like. Uh, Maybe at least like four or five color static rating and see what the uh, level three security missions do for us. So that's tomorrow's job. We got level uh, three security today at uh, tried a couple of missions. That was it.